Let us now take a final quiz to test our understanding about joint venture. State which of the statements is true. A. Memorandum joint venture account is prepared to find out the amount due from co-venture. B. Memorandum joint venture account is prepared when separate set of books is maintained. C. In memorandum joint venture account, only one co-venturer's transaction is recorded. D. Memorandum joint venture account is prepared to find out profit on venture. Which of the statements is true? Is the memorandum joint venture account prepared to find out amount due from co-venture? No. Is it prepared when memorandum joint venture account is prepared when separate set of books is maintained? No. In memorandum joint venture account, only one co-venturer's transaction is recorded? No. Memorandum joint venture account is prepared to find out profit? Yes. It's Therefore, the correct answer is D. The memorandum joint venture account is prepared to find out profit on venture. M and N entered into a joint venture where M supplies goods worth 6000 and spends 300 on expenses. N sells the entire lot for 7800 meeting selling expenses amounting to 300. Profit sharing ratio equal. N remits to M the amount due. The amount of remittance will be. Quickly, what would be the profit? Expenditure is 6,300. I am writing the expenses in brackets. N sells the entire lot for 7,800 is the profit. And again, expense of 300. So, 6,600 6,600 is the expense, 7,800 is the income. Therefore, you have a profit of 1,200. What is the profit sharing ratio? It's equal. Therefore, it's 600 and 600. This is one part. Next, you have to know the amount of remittance. N will remit to M. What is the amount that we owe M? Let us see. M supplies goods worth 6,000. M will want to be reimbursed the 6,000. M will want to be reimbursed the 300 expenses. N sells for 7,800. N's expenses are 300 is fine. Profit. M will also should get a profit of 600. Therefore, 6,900 should be the amount which... M has to receive. M needs to be re reimbursed 6,000. M needs to be reimbursed 300. And M needs a share of profit of 600. The correct answer should be 6,900. <coughs> what is the nature of joint venture with co-venturers account? Is it a nominal account? B, real account. C, personal account. D, none. None of the above. Which is the correct answer? What is the nature of joint venture with co-venturers account? When do we prepare this account? When a separate set of books is not prepared. Joint venture with co-venturers account is a personal account. It's a personal account. It represents the amount which is receivable or payable to the co-venturer. Joint venture accounting follows which concept? A. Accrual concept, B. Going concern concept, C. Cost concept and D. Cash basis. Accrual concept, no it's a short period, we really don't accrue anything. Going concern concept, no. Cost concept, no. Cash basis would be the right answer. So joint venture accounting follows the cash basis.
Next, X and Y enter into a joint venture. X supplied goods to Y worth 70,000. X incurred expenses amounting to 6,000 on joint venture. Venture resulted in a total profit of 15,000 of which their ratio of distribution is 2 is 2. The entire sale proceeds were received by Y. The amount received from received by X from Y in the final settlement will be A 85,000, B 86,000, C 80,000 and D 75,000. The amount which X has to be paid, X will have to be reimbursed the 70,000. X will want the 6,000 spent on expenses. Then there is a profit of 15,000. This is to be shared in the ratio 2 is to 1. Therefore, X will get 10,000 and Y will get 5,000. 15,000 shared in the ratio 2 is to 3. 15,000 into 2 by 3 will be X's share. 15,000 into 1 by 3 will be Y's share. So 10,000 also. So X has to be reimbursed 70, paid 6,000 and share of profit 10,000. Therefore 86,000 should be the correct answer. B 86,000. Next. Which of the following methods of valuation of closing stock is followed in joint venture accounting? A. Net realizable value. B. Cost price. C. Least of cost or net realizable value. None of these. None of these. Correct answer. None of these. In a joint venture accounting, normally the venture is closed and we don't really have a closing stock. The stock is taken over by the co-venturers. <clears throat> joint venture is a dash account, personal, B, real, C, nominal and D, capital account. Joint venture is a is it a personal account, real account, nominal account or capital account? Joint venture is a nominal account, an account to ascertain profit or loss on joint venture. When memorandum joint venture method is followed, in the books of X, joint venture with Y account will be credited with dash for amount received by X. A, Y. B. Sales, C. Data and D. Cash. So when money is received by X, entry would be cash account debit to joint venture with Y. So joint venture with Y account is credited and cash account would be debited. Therefore, the correct answer would be cash. D. Cash. <clears throat> A, B and C are co-venturers. The relative profit sharing ratio between A and B is 3 is to 2 and between B and C is also 3 is to 2. Find out the profit sharing ratio between A, B and C. A, 3 is to 2 is to 2, B, 9 is to 6 is to 4, C, 4 is to 3 is to 2, and D, 3 is to 2 is to 1. This is more mathematical than a problem relating to joint venture account. So how do we find this? A is to B is 3 is to 2. B is to C is 3 is to 2. So you need a common factor for this. Easiest way is to multiply 
these two. So you know that would be a common multiple and let's use the same. In order to get, so what is this? 6. In order to get 6, I multiply this with 3. 3 3's are 9, 3 2's are 6. And in order to get 6 here, I multiply this with 2. So this ratio 3 is to 2 can also be expressed as 6 is to 4. So now I have 6 here and 6 here. Therefore 9 is to 6 is to 4 would be the relation between A, B and C. 9 is to 6 is to 4 is option B. Is option B. P and Q enter into a joint venture sharing profits and losses in the ratio 3 is to 2. P purchased goods costing 2 lakh. Other expenses of P, 10,000. Q sold the goods for 1,80,000. Remaining goods were taken over by Q at 20,000. The amount of final remittance to be paid by Q to P will be 2,15,000, B, 2,4,000, C, 2,10,000 and D, 9. Let us see. P needs to be reimbursed for P purchased goods 2 lakh. Other expenses 10,000. Q sold the goods for 1 lakh 80,000. And remaining goods were taken over by Q at 20,000. So, what is the profit or loss? The, the, the 1 lakh 80,000 is the sales value. Remaining goods taken over by Q 20,000. So 2 lakh is the income, whereas the expenses 2 lakh purchased goods and you had a cost of 10,000. Therefore, there is a loss in this case, a loss of 10,000. What is A's share? It is loss of 10,000. P's, they are sharing Profits and losses in the ratio 3 is to 2. Therefore, P's share would be 3 by 5 of 10,000 equal to 6,000. And 2 by 5 of 10,000 is Q's share. That would be 4,000. So what is P's share of loss? It is 6,000, which is being a loss P has to pay. So 2 lakh represents the amount payable to P. 10,000 amount payable to P, 6,000 P has to pay. Therefore, we get a balance of 2,4,000 being the amount paid by Q to P. 2,4,000, correct answer should be option B, 2,4,000. Please note, this is a loss. There was a loss and therefore, this money is not payable to P, but receivable from P, recoverable from P. If any stock is taken over by the venturer, it will be treated as an A. Income of the joint venture, therefore credited to joint venture account. B. Expense of joint venture, therefore debited to joint venture account. C. To be ignored as joint venture transaction. And D. It will be treated in the personal book of the venturer and not in the books of joint venture. The correct answer should be A, income of joint venture, therefore credited to joint venture account. Any stock is taken over by the venturer, venturer account debit to joint venture. Correct answer A. Next, advice which of the statements is true. The joint venture can be formed by a single person only. Legal deed should be drafted before forming a joint venture. C. Profit to be shared between the venturers in agreed ratio. D. Joint venture follows the going concern concept. Which of the following statements is true?
Answer C is correct. The profit to be shared between the venturers is in an agreed ratio. Joint venture does not follow the going concern concept. It follows the realization or liquidation concept. Joint venture cannot be formed by a single person. It has to be formed by two or more persons. And legal deed need not be drafted for forming a joint venture. So the correct answer C. The true statement is profit to be shared between the venturers in agreed ratio. Goods costing rupees 10,000 destroyed by an accident. Insurance claim name. 10,000 will be credited to joint venture account. B. No entry will be made in the books of joint venture. C. 10,000 will be debited in the joint venture account as loss. And D. 8,000 will be credited in the joint venture account. When goods are lost, abnormal loss of goods in case of joint venture, there is no accounting entry in the joint venture books. If there is any insurance claim, that amount is credited. Therefore, the correct answer would be B option. No entry will be made in the books of joint venture. A purchased goods costing 42,500. B sold goods costing rupees 40,000 at rupees 50,000. Balance goods were taken over by A at same gross profit percentage as in case of sale. The amount of goods taken over will be A 3125, B 2500, C 3000 and D 9. So what is the profit? What is the rate of profit? Since we have cost, we'll take the rate of profit on cost. Profit 10,000. Cost 40,000. Therefore, 10 by 10,000 by 40,000 or one-fourth of cost is profit. That is the rate of gross profit. Balance of goods is how much? We have a balance of goods of 2,500, balance of goods after sale, 2,500 because 42,500 supplied, 40,000 sold. So now you have a cost of 2,500. What is the profit? 2,500 into one-fourth is the profit. What is the profit for this? 625. 3125 should be the cost of the goods or the value of the goods taken over. The amount of the goods taken over, since it's taken over at the same rate of profit, the answer is A3125. A3125.